there's no problem if I record the interrogation, right? Case number zero zero sixteen. Listen to anything I've been saying. Look, I know it's hard, okay? But I need you to tell me everything you know. Every little detail. Okay. Trip. It was so good. It was the best. <laughs> you know it was good. You're taking care of her, right? Every second, sir. All I do is think about her. Yeah. Well, we went to Disney, and do you remember the ride? The really, really big one. It was Amazing. so much fun. You have to go. And then the restaurant. Oh, the food was so good. <laughs> in his house and and everything seemed well until I found the bodies be more specific at what time did this happen what were you doing at half past one more or less I don't remember I'm sorry don't worry carry on I was in my room this isn't my room anymore Whatever you say, baby sister. You didn't turn it into a gym or anything, right? Let's go inside. Your room? It's in this brother's house? I'm in the middle of them. Okay. Now what happened? Then, here I am screaming. Funny, you guys. Guys. Jack? Jack, answer me. This isn't funny, you guys. Guys. Jack? Go to your room now. No. Go and hide in your room now. Did you see anything else? No. Something else. A 
to finding the bodies, you see something else. I called 911. Chris? Preliminary testimony said a man appeared in the house. Do you know who he was? He said he was a neighbor. I don't remember his name. I don't know what I have. It's in a low case. You went after him. After who? My brother. That's good. It wasn't him. I didn't say otherwise. It wasn't him. Amy, calm down. It wasn't him. Then who was responsible? I don't know. But there was somebody else. Descriptions? It's not him. I couldn't. I looked at him and there was nothing left. What are you trying to say? It was not his eyes. He wasn't there anymore. 